Hi and welcome to my channel. So today is my verses video for the month of April 2018. I have it written all down here in my little book as always. So um, it's getting filled up quite nicely now. Although the more it gets filled up the more the year's going and that's depressing. Alright so I'll start off with Glossy Box which is £13.25 per month. For April we got the Dr Botanicals for £5.49. I'm loving this. I'm using it every single day so I use it just around on my face, use something different for my eyes and I think it's pretty good. So for £5.49 I'll be buying it again for sure. I like it. And the MDM Flow, £19 this lipstick was. Mm, it's not so great. If you use it just now with this nothing else then you're going to get major sticky lips and it was driving me potty. But there was a few subscribers who put down comments below, thank you so much. Um, I think it was Stacey, was it you Stacey? Who said put some um, Vaseline or Balm underneath and it works so it makes it not sticky. So I have used that trick and it does work. But then it comes off a little bit quicker than it does when you don't use it. <sighs> so I'm on the fence with this. I do use it but my goodness it's sticky. I end up putting a Balm on top of it and then just, I don't know, it's not my favourite. I don't reach for it because of the stickiness. Um, and then we had the rice powder, loving this little baby and I am using it when I remember. I'm pretty poor on my powders. Um, I was watching Lucy do the 10 minute and she was sticking on all the powder, setting her eyes and I thought, gosh, I need to do that. I just need to be better in makeup. 9.35 if you want to buy it, I do recommend it. It's a really nice translucent powder and I really like using it. Um, the Model Co Lagerfield... Um, highlighter, blush, not using it. I don't think it gives you much of a hit. So it's not really my favourite product in the world, but it is good. Um, I did, didn't have a price, it was like $44 or something. I seen somebody say that it was worth that in America. So it's quite a pricey product and I will keep it and I will try it, but it's not something I'm reaching for. And then there was the Aiko, or Aiko, can't say it, eyeliner for £16. Now I used that, that is awful. It was just all over the shop in my eyes. I just didn't like it. It wasn't waterproof at all. It just went everywhere. Well, did it say it was waterproof? I don't know. But uh, it definitely isn't an eyeliner that I would go run to try. Now there was one that we got in Rockabox one time, a Doucy Fat Liner. Now that's a liner. It's brilliant. And I think that's £15. It's just so much better. So yeah, I didn't rate that liner at all. But I love getting eyeliners like that because we can try them before we buy them before we pay a fortune. So I know not to waste my money on something like that. I will go for the Deuce or the Deucey um, fat liner because that was brilliant. Okay, so that is it for Glossy Box this month. And then we'll move on to Birch Box. I got a few of the items. Some of the items are not here. I don't know what they are. So the first item was the Kath Kidston um, hand cream because it is a Kath Kidston box. Okay, and I love this hand cream. It's fabulous. It's really thick. It smells delicious and it really works to nourish your hands. So yeah, I totally recommend this. This is a lovely product and I love the little old-fashioned granny print. I just think it's so cute. Um, then we had the Brow Gel Fill Tamer. Do I have a picture of it? I have a picture of it. Right, it was like this. Now, I can't find it. I think it's somewhere. It made me look like Rachel Mark, so I didn't use it again. Sorry guys. If you'd wanted to buy that though, it would be £8.60. And that was the full size item, but it was very tiny. Teeny, tiny, small. And then we had the Baked Highlighter, which is Model Co. And that is over there, and I forgot to bring it over. But it looks like that. That is what I got. And I love it. I use it every single day. I have it on just now. See that little bit of a glow? That is the Model Co. It's fantastic. I can't rave enough about it. I love it. Um, it's not good for your inner corner or up on your brow because it's really got pink tinge. I don't like it. I like more of a white pearl look for up that. But on here, oh, on your nose, mm, I love it. I am in love with this product. And it is £24 if you want to buy it full size. And I think I would. I think it's lovely. Um, and there's just some highlighters I fall in love with and some I don't like. That one I did. And then the next one was the brush cleaner. It's somewhere. There it is. <laughs> in a box. Um, a fiver for this. I've still got it. It's gone in that box. My family were down so I gave away loads of my products to my family. 
Um, because they're all girls, so I gave them all a box each, made them up their little glossy box and little birch box, and it was so cute. Because there's a 14 year old, um, my niece, and then another one was 11, and then my sister. So I just gave a lot of products away so that were supposed to be in my giveaway box, but obviously when family come down, and I wanted to share it out and share the love, so it was nice. But I didn't give them that. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I thought they wouldn't even like that. Right, and then we had the volumizing spray which is the Pallor, and um, I have just used it now in preparation for this video. So, do you think I have more volume? So this was, yep, so this was it used on this. Um, let's see how much it was worth. It's by Jeff Chase Chastain, and it was worth £18.50 if you want to buy it full size. It was not full size, it was a mini size. So we didn't get many full sizes in Birchbots this month, but there was a few products in there that I quite liked. And Birchbox is £12.95 per, per month. Then we had Pink Parcel. Now, I don't have any of Pink Parcel. <laughs> I've been terrible this month. This will be a quick one. Um, you'll be saying, yay, thank goodness for that. Anyway, we got little bits of chocolate like this. I ate them on camera. So they were delicious. Gorgeous. <laughs> and you could buy them. Oh, they're bespoke to PP subscribers. Can't get it out. Then there was the mascara which is somewhere, but I just don't know where. Who knows, I think I maybe gave it away in my box of goodies to my sister. So this was £15 for 8ml. And then you had some tea, and I've put that away in the tea box, so for someone, um, one of my subscribers who loves teas, tea, <laughs> tea bags. And then we had the lip scrub, which was a full size item, and that was by Jelly Pong Pong. And that was worth £15. So I used it actually, I thought it was quite good, but I gave that away in a, in a little box to my nieces anyway. So I think they will love it. And then we had the body wash, botanic body wash, which I have just used just now. And it's lovely, it's kind of like hair being good for you kind of smell. So it's alright, I like it, but I got a shea butter from A Life in High Definition. Oh man, that is the nicest body wash in the world. Compared to this one, this one seems a bit too good. That's bad, isn't it? But um, yeah, I didn't rate it. But if you want it, it would be eight pound ninety five for three hundred ml. Then we got the Catherine purse spray, and this was sixteen pound, and it looked like that. So I keep that in my purse, and I use it every single day. Last week I went to school. Now, does anybody have these big hoods with the fur? I do, and oh my goodness, mine stink. Like, do you know when you, you go out in the rain and then you come back in, then you go out in the rain, you come back in. But a big massive jacket like that, you don't want to wash it because, well, it would just be weird. So you like air dry it and all that, try to get the stink out. <laughs> I honestly don't go anywhere that stinky. But anyway, it was stinking. So I was like, oh, to my husband, oh, I hate that smell. Ch -ch -ch -ch, with the spray. Sprayed it right in my eyeball, this eyeball here. I promise. I thought I was going to have to go to uni. <laughs> It was so sore. It was absolutely killing me. So yeah, don't use that purse spray for eye spray. It doesn't work. So anyway, that's just a total tangent. Um, but if you want to buy that, it's £16. But I do like the smell. The smell was lush. Then we had the Beauty Pro Eye Therapy Under Eye Mask, which looks like that. And I don't have that either. I put that in my box to go away as well. And I didn't give all these box, these things away because I didn't like the products. I gave them away because Sharon is caring and they were down and I wanted them to have something nice um, and something they could enjoy. So I'm glad that they can take it away and enjoy. And I also have some eye masks over there from Life in High Definition and from another box swap that I'd done. So it wasn't, it's not good to hoard all the stuff. I always like to give them out. Right, so that is it for Pink Parcel, and Pink Parcel, for me, I pay £10.50 because I'm a subscriber and have been for over a year, but if you're new to it, you're going to pay £12.99, but there are codes out there, refer me codes, go over to A Life in High Definition, go over to Diary for 40 something, look at their Pink Parcel unboxings, go down into the description bar, and there is a little code that you can use, you can just go on through their little link, and they will give you some percentages off of your first box. So I'd advise you to do that to get a little bit cheaper. And then we had the last but not least, my Glam Box. I have some of these products, thank goodness. Right, we had the Heb, which is the lipstick. Um, I don't know how much it was. <laughs> this is going good. <laughs> so um, yeah, I can't remember, but I... 
do like it and I have used it. So I think it is quite nice. I think it was maybe £8 or up there. Um, and some of the stars use this kind of thing. So I have been using it on occasion. It's like everything. And when you get a lip gloss, you just use it odds and ends, don't you? So we got that. Then we got the lashes. Now, I have tried the lashes, but they were too long for me. So these were the lashes by Molly. And they were like 5 to £10. It didn't have an exact price of how much you'd pay for these. But they were too long for me. So I have to cut them and then try them on. So I'm going to do that. But I've had nowhere to go. And I've been doing my mum's house. It's been absolute chaos. And if I turned up with the removal people full on lashes. <laughs> I think I'd went bonkers. So no, I haven't been using them. But I will do when things have calmed down. Now I go to the next house to clean it up and get it ready for move out day. Oh, Mum's all settled in our new house though. But the other part is still to be done. So no more lashes for me for at least two weeks. Right, and then we got um, this big thing. And it was the silver one. And I was, it was crushed diamonds it was called. Or something similar. And I was super duper excited for this. But it was actually quite a letdown. I didn't really like the shade. It didn't go on as sparkling as I had wanted. Um, and it didn't stay as much as I had wanted. So I was a little bit disappointed in it. And it's quite a big size. So I'll keep persevering and using it again. But I did have a lot of Mercier silver. Um, it's out of date now. And I got it from a box. But I checked it with the code and it's out of date. And that silver was like pizzazz. You put it on, you feel like you're going glitzy. That one didn't give me the same glitz. And then we had the two little um, glitter ones. Now these are by Be Beautiful. I haven't tried these because they're glitter. <laughs> I'm not really doing glitter at the moment. But when I go out and nights out, I know for a fact these will come in handy. For my holiday in July, for Elvis week, or my Elvis weekend, these will be coming in my bag 100%. And I'll be using these. So these are definitely good for me. And they're about £4.50, I think. Around about that. Then it's the body glitter, which again, I haven't used. It's definitely not been the time for glitter. So this is, was a very glitter heavy box. The first one was quite glitter heavy too. So I'm hoping for the month of May, we're going to have less glitter and more other stuff. But I really hope there'll be less glitter. So fingers crossed. Even though I love glitter, but we've had enough, I think. So yeah, that's it. And then we had the brush, the foundation brush, which is over there. Again, I forgot it. It's fab. It was like a little um, square kabuki brush. And it came out. It was really good. And I'm using it every day. It's not my favourite makeup brush, foundation brush, compared to my Tarte. My Tarte has really stiff bristles. And for me, putting on foundation, I need the stiff bristles um, just to get it good. <laughs> That's something weird about that sentence. Anyway... Um, so this one was a little bit softer and a little bit more flimsy, so it's kind of movable and I didn't like that as much. But I still am using it for when I'm putting on my concealer and stuff, and when I'm washing my other brush I am using it. So it is a good thing to have, and I wasn't disappointed in having that brush, and that was worth £20 if you wanted to buy it. Right, okay, so that is it for the month of April 2018 for my boxes. I only had four boxes, I only had four boxes this month. I speak. Um, so yeah, it was quite a weird month for me. So what I always do is I go through them and if I tick them, the most ticks is the winner if I'm on the fence and I don't know which box to, to pick. So as you can see, two ticks on the glossy box, two ticks on the birch box, two ticks on the pink parcel and two ticks on my glam box. So really it's a total draw. There was nothing that stood out for me. No box that went over and above. So I had to then do, go down to favourite products. Now Glossy Box had the Dr Botanicals and the rice powder that I absolutely loved. Birch Box had the baked highlighter which is my favourite baked highlighter in the world and the hand cream which I absolutely adore. Pink Parcel and My Glam Box are out for April, they're not my favourite. I thought My Glam Box would be but on reflection and using the products it turned out not to be. So I would say my Box of the month has got to be Birch Box. And the only reason is because of the baked highlighter. I'm in love with it. I use it all the time. It's a brilliant highlighter. And so that's why it has to. And the hand cream, I'm using it every single night before I go to bed. And I feel like my hands are getting a little bit more nourished. So yeah, April wasn't a wow month. It definitely wasn't something that knocked it out of the park. But they were good.
and I'm more excited for May, even though I don't get to keep any of my boxes, and it's my birthday month. <sighs> but anyway, look out for me. I'm giving away all my boxes that I have. Um, it's not my glam box. I'm not giving away that one. I'm giving away Birch Box, Pink Parcel, um, Glossy Box, and this will be given away tomorrow. It's been sitting in the cupboard. This will be going away tomorrow to its new owner, to a new home. Alright, thanks for joining me and I will see you on another unboxing in me. Subscribe to my channel. Hello. Comment below. Press the bell button. Thumbs up. Thank you.